Happy Chinese New Year! So today we're going to make my super special Nyonya grilled fish or in Malaysia we call it ikan bakar Nyonya style. We're going to start with our sambal, the most important bit. So the first step is, is to cut up all of your ingredients. So we're just going to chop up our onions here and we've got about four cloves of garlic, two and a half inches of ginger as well. So we just kind of like cut that all up. And I'm also going to use one stick of lemongrass. Again, just roughly chop everything. We're also using four fresh chilies. Add in a dash of water just to help it pulse and also blend together. So we're going to heat up our wok. I'm going to add in some coconut oil just to create that beautiful flavour. Add in about four tablespoons of coconut oil. Let that heat up a little bit. And here I have some shrimp paste, or in Malaysia we call it blachan. So we just want to add in maybe about a teaspoon or so worth. It's the flavour of the shrimp paste that really makes a difference in our Malaysian cooking. So once the blachan has been kind of frying for about 30 minutes, I'm going to add in our blended item. Now you want to kind of cook this down until the colour kind of becomes really dark. So to that, we're going to add in about a tablespoon of sugar and a teaspoon of salt. Give that a quick little mix. Now I'm going to turn off the fire and I'm just going to add in the juice of one calamansi lime just to kind of brighten up the sambal. I'm also going to add in four cafe lime leaves which I'm going to like thinly slice. I'm just taking out the bits in the centre straight into your sambal. Just give it a quick mix. And now we're going to marinate our fish. So today I'm using sea bass, so in Malaysia we call it siaka. Add in a little bit of that sambal mixture. Add in some vegetable oil. And then to that, I'm also going to add in a little bit of amino acids. Or you can use soy sauce. And a little bit of white pepper. And the juice of one calamansi lime. Marinate all over and into the cavities of the fish as well. Turn the fish around, do the other side. So we're going to let that sit for a little bit. So what I like to do is kind of place the banana leaf at the bottom. Add in a little bit of oil on the top of the banana leaf and also at the bottom. This kind of like creates a coat and a protection for the fish. Now we want to turn on the fire. Make sure it's like really nice and hot before we place the fish in. So all this marinade in the plate, don't waste it. Add a bit of water in. And now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put this marinade straight into the pan. Close it. Reduce the fire to a medium heat. And let that steam away so that the fish cooks on the inside. After about 8 minutes, the moisture from the steam has completely evaporated and you can tell that the fish is cooked because it's all flaked out and the colour is just amazing! So what you want to do is you want to gently pick your fish up So once you've gently put your fish on a plate of course, please add in a little bit more of that beautiful sambal so people can help themselves. Then we also have some calamansi limes which I've just sliced up in half. So you just want to kind of dress that so people can just help themselves. And there you have it guys, my Nyonya style ikan bakar, cooked perfectly.